Today I'd like to share with you how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on your Tyline via remote codec. This enables you to share data across a number of your devices such as your laptop or your smartphone from your remote broadcast. This can be very useful when you've got plenty of bandwidth such as gigabit ethernet connection or cellular connection. If you are sharing cellular data, make sure you have sufficient bandwidth to support streaming codec audio and sharing data with other devices. One way to check this is to connect the data source to a laptop and do a speed test. If you don't have sufficient bandwidth, then it's probably best that you don't share the connection. My connection here is an Ethernet one and I have plenty of bandwidth, so let's see how easy it is to set up. From the Codex home screen, navigate to the settings and then Wi-Fi. Then tap to enable Wi-Fi hotspot mode. You'll notice after a short while that the Wi-Fi hotspot symbol appears in the status bar at the top of the screen. On your device, the hotspot appears as via hotspot in your list of Wi-Fi networks. Enter the hotspot password, which by default is TLF5300 hyphen via. We would recommend changing the default password to something more secure. After a few seconds, the device should connect to the hotspot. You will also notice the hotspot icon becomes illuminated in the status bar on the codec screen. This signifies the device is connected to the codex hotspot. Alternatively, I can also have my laptop use the Wi-Fi hotspot to remote control the web GUI of my VIA. And that's another reason why increasingly more and more engineers are choosing the Tyline VIA over anything else that's available in the market. For more information on the Tyline VIA, please visit www.tyline.com.